As 2021 came to a close, our very own Kate Garraway was among those recognised in the New Year's honours, appointed MBE for her services to broadcasting, journalism and charity. Kate's honour celebrates her fantastic career, which spans decades, as well as her honest and moving journey as her family have been dealing with her husband Derek's battle with COVID. Kate joins us now. Oh, morning. huge Hello. congratulations. Good morning. And what a happy new year. What a fantastic start to the new year. Yeah. My presence now and maybe bow. <laughs> Say that again, Kate, because we're sorry. We're just on one of those broadcasting systems where we can't hear you until oh, we've really? stopped talking. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I've never got that, have I? You wait for others to stop <laughs> talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was just teasing you and saying, while you're sitting down, I'm expecting full bowing, full curtsying from here on in. Ah, oh, <laughs> yes, of course. Yes, let me curtsy. Yeah. Uh, Lady Kate Garraway. Yes, MBE. Fantastic. Because a couple of weeks ago, Kate, we were talking about um, you got a letter from the palace previously. I think it was from Kate, wasn't it? And you, uh, I think we jokingly said it was delivered on horseback. And of course, yes. now you've had another letter from the palace. Tell us how the excitement of seeing that, that letter arrive. It's strange, isn't it? Because um, uh, I actually feel very awkward about it, it all, really. I don't know, what, I, I don't know why, because I'm thrilled to bits and incredibly honoured. But um, you just sort of think, what, me, is the first thing you think, isn't it? And then you think it's not real. So what happens is, that, uh, in my experience anyway, is that you get a letter saying that you've been put forward for an honour, don't know what, uh, would you accept it if you did? And actually, I was Derek's had a bit of time going in and out of hospital recently, so I was actually with him at the time, and my sister-in-law was in charge of opening letters that looked official, mainly bills, I thought. And she opened it and said, oh, gosh, I shouldn't have opened this. This is really exciting. You should have opened this yourself. And I said, oh, for God's sake, we need to say yes to whatever it is. And then you hear nothing. Um, and then there was something um, in the papers a couple of weeks before Christmas, and I thought, well, I haven't heard. And then on the 30th, I got a letter on the outside. It said, it was from Buckingham Palace, and it said to, um, I think it said Catherine Draper Garraway or Catherine Garraway Draper, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, and um, and, it, and on the outside it also said MBE and I thought, well, they're not going to get it wrong. It must be that. And uh, inside they just say congratulations, very pleased to hear that you've been, you know, it's lovely, we're very thrilled that you've got this honour. So I thought, well, it must be true. But I still didn't quite believe it until on New Year's Eve people started, I think it was announced with the New Year's Honours list, people started saying congratulations. But it's a strange feeling because... Um, you know, it's things that other people get. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, Kate, can I just establish, do you mean to say that you read it in the papers before you knew you'd been given it? Well, they had, yes, basically. Mm. So they had, they had, they had sort of sent a letter saying, would you accept? And I said, yes, but... I don't, I didn't, I thought, is that a little bit like when they, you know, for the reality TV awards, they say you've been... <laughs> <laughs> Don't get a look. I didn't know whether that meant that you'd got it or not. So um, I just kind of thought, sorry, I had to keep touching my screen because it goes dark. Uh, I thought I better just wait for the official. And I didn't tell anybody. Um, and to, I didn't even tell my parents because I felt like I didn't want to tempt fate. But it seems lovely. But also, I think it has strange feelings. And, and there have been a few comments since yeah. it was announced from people saying, why has she got this? I look after my loved one. And. Um, and, and you sort of feel like, oh, you know, I don't, th I haven't got it for looking after Derek. Um, it is for broadcasting and I think also charity work. But, um, uh, yeah. but, you know, there's lots of people that you feel deserve it more. So it's a strange feeling. But as you say, there are different dimensions, I think, to why you have been given, given the award. Does it come with any special privilege as an MBE? Can you walk sheep across London Bridge before dawn? Or is it, is it what do we know? What's it entitle you to? It entitles me to Walsh Center and Good Morning Britain, an endless supply of tea. That's in the contract. <laughs> and that came with an official seal. No, I don't think it does. Or at least I don't know it yet. I'd love it if it meant I had to practice archery on a Sunday or something. You know, those strange laws that come with things. But no, I think it's just letters after your name. And, a, and, a, and, and you know, I feel sort of 
weirdly and surprisingly touched by it all. Yeah. Hey, it's interesting you say that you receive some negative comments because, um, you know, people ask, well, you know, why should one person who cares for somebody get it and not mm. another person? But I... And, and you sort of have played down the fact that it's your role as, you know, looking after Derek that might have contributed to this. I would disagree because mm. I think the fact that you have been very open and, in fact, made that documentary about looking after Derek as a representative of someone who has suffered so badly with COVID. Actually, I know that there are a lot of people who care for someone who's suffered with COVID who are very grateful and, and glad that you've highlighted how hard that is. There'll be a lot of carers, a lot of people in the NHS. You know, you do have that platform through decades in journalism, through your broadcast. And the documentary. In order to be able to draw attention to that and I think it's absolutely well deserved of course yeah. so what the, you know whenever anybody gets anything there are going to be people who who might complain I just think that you know don't diminish how important that work has been in the pandemic well and, and no and you're right Susanna I don't think a day goes by um when people don't say in fact we went to a pantomime Derek and I before Christmas it was his first big trip out took a lot of organizing big thank you to Anton de Beck in fact he came on Good Morning Britain to talk about being in panto and I said is it crazy to think that I could bring Derek to panto this was obviously months before Christmas and he helped me organise it, which took a lot of organising. Thank you to the theatre as well. And that was a big thing. And as we were going in and sort of trying to manoeuvre him in and see if the whole thing was possible, um, one of the people showing us to a seat was in tears and saying, oh, gosh, I can't tell you how much it helped me. I was watching the documentary. I was feeling very low. My husband had actually suffered a severe stroke, not related to the pandemic, but I just thought... I've got to pick myself up. And so hopefully it, it, it has helped people in highlighting some of the problems ongoing um, and the problems we're now coming to the end of making a second documentary, which is the aftermath, really, of those people who've suffered from COVID or any devastating disease and how you then try and navigate your way forward as a family um, uh, and through the system, which is so complicated and you don't know it until you're in it, I thought, reporting on the social care system and reporting on care of people with challenges, I've done a lot of, you know, whatever it is, 25 odd years now, mm -hmm. but until you're in it, you don't realise the emotional toll. So I think for some of those people that said, I'm a carer and I don't get this, I hope that I can use my job um, to shine a light on the challenges that you face because it's there isn't an easy solution. It isn't just money. Um, and there's a lot of good people trying to make it better, but it is very, very tough for how a lot is, of... How is Derek doing, uh, Kate? Because we just saw those pictures of you going to Panto. I think for a lot of people, that will have been the first time they've seen Derek in, you know, in the chair, in the yeah. wheelchair, out and about. He's looking yeah. very bright and cheerful in it's that mighty. photograph. Isn't he? And with a huge beard, I've got to master beard trimming. <laughs> That's <laughs> my resolutions because um, I can only sort of go down to zero or start again. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, that was another thing that but Billy said, don't shave your beard till Christmas, Dad, because you look like Santa now. It's going so grey. Um, but uh, he's doing all right. You know, he is phenomenally fatigued at the moment. He's going oh. through a very fatigued and very weak. And actually, the trip to the pantomime, he was then not out of bed afterwards, but he thought it was worth it. And I think he did, well, I know he did too, because it was a special thing to be sitting there with the children, holding their hands, doing something normal. But it took everything out of him. And okay. we don't quite know what year he's going to bring. But you're right. Look, he's there looking smiley present uh speech isn't there but i think you can see that he's aware that something special is happening yeah. and he's part of it and that morning i said you're very tired do you want to do this and he said yes yes well, so thank you, you know
Well, you know what, look, look by the way, there were, there, were, there were, let's just close by saying this, there were a few comments, but often when someone gets a title, there is a raging debate. There is no meaningful debate to be had about Kate Garraway MBE. Uh, congratulations, Kay. I, you know, it's absolutely well deserved. You've you've been a phenomenally important voice uh, for very personal and painful reasons for your family. But it is terrific that you've got that MBA. I know Derek will be exceptionally proud of you, and the kids must be as well. And yeah. happy, happy New Year Definitely. to all they of you. Be, they thought they could be Lord and Lady, and I said no. <laughs> doesn't really work that way, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are Lord and Lady yeah. in your house, really, Thank aren't they, Darcy and Billy? We love you, Kate. Congratulations. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs>